So this question says the function f is defined by f of x equals x minus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 6, which, by the way, literally tells us all the x-intercepts for this function, if we need it. Um, the sentence goes on to say, in the xy plane, the graph of y equals g of x is the result of translating the graph of y equals f of x up four units. Okay, so um, I could technically put this into my calculator, right? So you'll have an integrated calculator for the digital SAT, so you could definitely just throw this in there and graph it, um, and then look at that graph and see how it will look if you move it up four units. Let's see what the actual question is. What is the value of g of zero? Okay, so doing this without a calculator, the best way to figure this out is actually to figure out f of zero. Because again, g, so let me just write it this way, g of zero should be equal to f of zero plus four, right? Just translate it up four units. So f of zero is when I, use a different color here, when I replace x with zero in each case. And what that'll get me is, in my first parentheses, 0 minus 6, negative 6. My second, I'll have a negative 2. My third, I'll have a positive 6. So negative 6 times negative 6 here is positive 12. And then positive 12 times 6 is equal to 72. But that's just my f of 0 value, right? So again, g of 0 would now equal 72 plus 4. Therefore, g of 0 is equal to 76, 4 units above where you'd expect it to be for f of zero. That's literally what the question tells us. We're moving f of x up four units.